This is that. Ah. Like I like the uh, shoes. Yeah. Ew, that's gross. Okay, that's straight booger. So be. <sighs> Finish off the rest of the piece, and we'll be right back. Video can. This is a shart. Shart. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Alicia for those who are tuning in and welcome back to everybody else. If you guys are new to this channel, I love to post demo and reviews, how-to videos, makeup tutorials. I also am notorious on my monthly favorites videos that I post at the end of every month. So if you guys want to tune in or if you guys are interested in these types of videos, consider subscribing. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how I conceal my under eye circles. This is going to be a very easy video. I literally use two products. You can use one to three products of your choice, liquid powder formulation. Again, this comes down to a preference wise. Be sure to use the brand of products formulations of your comfort level because what it comes down to what I recommend may or may not work for you so again this video is just literally how I conceal my under eye circles and hopefully you can learn some tips and tricks and by all means comment down below if you guys feel I should learn different techniques I'm always here willing to learn different techniques because that's what an artist does it's not all about what you know but kind of like what you learn with with other people so you know let's share our tips <laughs> All right, guys, if you guys are interested on how I conceal my under eye circles, <laughs> then please keep on watching. Great. Now we're going to have to fight over the audio because the heater is on, but is definitely necessary because it's so cold. Oh, oh it's so cold. I can't even open this. So I'm just going to hydrate my lips because it's definitely needed. So I took a shower last night, washed my hair, put it in a bun when it was like almost completely dried. So I'm hoping I'll get a nice body wave out of this. <laughs> and also have you guys notice my lashes. I've been really into brown lashes lately. It's just a little softer looking and natural. I also paired it with this brown liner just to tight line on the top instead of black. But yeah. It's a bit softer with the lashes, but the lash line, I feel like it's a little bit more pronounced. But anyways, that's what I've been rocking lately. <laughs> when concealing my eyes, I like to use two colors. I like to use a color that's kind of closer to my complexion. This will neutralize any blue hues that I might have versus using a lighter color that will basically peek through and it doesn't really do its justice of concealing. So what I like to do first is use a darker color just to neutralize the hues right here. And then if I want to, I'll use a lighter color just on the outside to brighten. You can definitely choose to just use the darker color if you like. And then instead of this lighter color, you could use like a setting powder or something of your choice to brighten. You don't necessarily need to use two types. This is just what I like to do. So before applying on any concealer, of course, my face is cleansed and I did put on moisturizer, but under our eyes, we tend to have the most sensitivity because the skin under here is super thin so too much product on that area can cause creasing and texture so again this is optional but there are times when I look at my skin I'm like oh my god it's so dry I do need an eye cream so when choosing an eye cream for under the eyes I typically steer towards a gel base versus like a cream a cream is good it's not bad I usually use more of a cream base for evenings where it needs more saturation while I'm sleeping into the skin versus a gel base Base, which is a little bit lighter in formulation but I can definitely wear it throughout the day where I don't feel like it's too heavy or mixes with my concealer and it just gets all like streaky or again creasing so a cream base is a little bit thicker in formulation so you can see when I'm blending it out it's a little bit thicker and takes a little bit more time to really saturate into the skin clearly that was 
enough application for both eyes. I didn't have to do a full pump, but just for demonstration purposes, I just wanted you to see the more creamy and heavier formulation. Versus a gel base, which is a little bit thinner in formulation, it glides smoothly, it's a little bit softer. So again, this formulation is going to be great for daytime use. But by all means, it comes down to a preference choice, so do what's best for you and your comfort level. And sorry if you guys saw this weird looking thing on my finger. I know, it's like a little nipple on my finger. So I'm going to start off with the gel base and I'm going to work with just a small amount. I'm actually going to use this amount for both sides of my eyes. Just lightly gliding my fingers over my eye area. I have product on here so I'm able to do this but for the most part I usually tend to just pat 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 with the lightest amount of pressure. And using your ring fingers is best because believe it or not, all the fingers you have, the ring fingers have the least amount of pressure. As you can see under my eyes, in the center pockets here on both sides of my eyes have the most discoloration. It slowly fades out to the outer parts of my eyes. So what we're going to do first is start off with the darker color. This is the Tarte Shape Tape in the color medium. I'm just going to focus this just right here in the center pocket here and we're just going to pack on the colors here to neutralize the blue hues. What I really love about this product is that since this is so close into my skin color, when I travel or just feel like those light days where I don't want to wear so much makeup, this shade helps with under the eyes, redness around the nose and around the face, and it just blends super nicely with my complexion. Shade, not complexion. I don't have good complexion, but complexion shade. <laughs> Gotta clarify that. I just love the smell of this. I don't know if you guys can see how it's more clear in the center. I literally don't have much product in here left. This has lasted me so long. Again, pre-COVID, traveled a lot with this because it's easy for touch-ups, easy for minimalist looks, one product shop, it's just amazing. So I'm gonna start in the center here. Definitely use your fingers, you can use a brush. I like to start off with a brush first and just pack it and as you can see a little goes a long way and now you can understand why i like to use this for easy touch-ups like i said when i travel i don't like to bring like so much makeup this is a product i take with me when i go to like the philippines or somewhere tropical like hawaii because again it's a long lasting makeup and it's just easy to use and now i'm going to feather the rest out to my outer eyes and then I can also use my fingers to blend everything out from the center to the outer pocket. Didn't realize we're playing pool here. You see how this color just neutralized all that blue hues right here? It may not have been completely neutralized, but it's gonna help so when I use another product like the lighter concealer, it's just gonna even everything out. Versus if I use the lighter color first, you'll see how pronounced the blue hues will be. My allergies have been acting up crazy. Um, update on that Manuka Makuna Honey. I'm gonna be honest, I did a spoonful of that honey and I really thought it was gonna be okay because it's honey, it's sugar. Who doesn't like sugar? It was so hard to eat that spoonful. So I need to try, keyword try, maybe mix it with some hot water and just drink that with the honey. Today I'm going to try and make my green tea latte and maybe I can put the honey in there just for like a little sweetener. I usually just put a splash of almond or macadamia milk so I don't know. I need to find a new way to get this honey in my system because my allergies is really bad and I'm really really trying to not take as much Claritin and you know that type of medication. I even heard like the nasal sprays are not good for you. I don't know. 
now. So we're gonna take the lighter shade. This is light neutral. Again, it's still in the yellowy undertone. So I'm just literally gonna start off with one dot because this stuff is so strong. I'm gonna start off on this outer corner first because this helps with where the brightening takes place. And then I'm just going to take my finger and then apply the rest all over. I'm gonna go in with just a little bit more and this time with just my finger. You could also do like rolling patting motions if you don't feel like you want to pat, but kind of rolling, patting it into place. You can do that too. Now you can see the difference here. It's definitely neutralized, but it's brightened around here. So let's go ahead and start off on this side. I like to use my finger first, again, only because it helps warms up the product. And I probably look so silly right now because this is not my dominant hand. So I'm all like weird looking right now. See, this is just like the perfect shade for me. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of a heavier hand since this side I had to apply more. Again, I'm starting off on the highlighted areas part first, and I'm gonna bring that in the center pocket. I do prefer using my fingers more than the brush, to be honest. What is that? Yuck. It was like a dry piece of booger from the product. There may be a little bit of texture here still, which I'm totally fine with, it's just, my natural wrinkles. <laughs> it's pretty smooth. I think this is the smoothest it will get. My skin just gets a little bit of wrinkliness from the texture of the bags. So I'm gonna finish off the rest of my face and I'll be right back. So I guess I kind of lucked out in the hair department. Not really, I mean, it has a nice body wave, but I don't know. So this is my final look on how I conceal my under eyes. It's so quick and so easy. So for the rest of the look, I basically took the darker shade. I just spot treated around the nose, my freckles around here, just applied on a little bit of bronzer and I didn't set my makeup only because there are times where I just like to wear the makeup product without setting it because I feel like in my preference, it looks a little bit more natural and not super like, caked on because sometimes when my skin is super dry, I have dry patches and using additional setting powder can enhance those dry patches. So since I do have those dry patches right now, I chose not to set it. Again, it's preference wise. I like the outcome of it. You know, sometimes with the natural oils that you build throughout the day meshes with the makeup and it just kind of looks natural and dewy-ish. But again, what it comes down to is preference wise. I'm going to show you some other brands that I use with like two colors. I find it very easy to use and it's just very multifunctional. Another brand that I like to buy with two colors is this Wet n Wild one. I like to use this to carve my brows, use it as concealer, just like this. Here is another good example with two colors. This is another great type of pencil formulation because it's creamy, but it dries into a powder form. So again, easy to travel with. I can still do the same techniques using the darker shades for the under eye circles and then using the lighter side to brighten the eyes. So that is it for my video, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick, easy video. If you guys found this useful or helpful, don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. And if you guys haven't already, you know what to do. Go ahead and subscribe to my channel or not. Anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.